Let's well, right now is 737 and on Monday the total solar eclipse happens and millions of people will look to the sky as the moon passes between the earth and sun. But for many Native American cultures, the eclipse is more than just a spectacle and has a different meaning. So joining us this morning to talk about this is Alicia Good Soldier from the Phoenix Indian Center. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate your time. Yeah, it's Ava Nicholson. Thank you. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, it's a. That means uh, hello in uh, Navajo and Dinepazad. So, Alicia, tell us about this. I know that uh, you know we've gotten emails and comments from some people uh, telling uh, you know our people on air that this is a sacred time for many Native American communities. Yeah, uh, I th I think it's really uh, important to know that you know there are 570 plus tribal nations throughout the valley with their own distinct languages. I'm sorry, the valley, but the nation rather, uh, with their own distinct languages and cultures and and belief systems. And and here in the valley, you know, we have 22 tribal nations uh, that are represented. So, uh, you know, there are a lot of tribes who may openly celebrate and observe while others um, are, are sitting in reverence while, you know, while the sacred event is happening. You know, just recently, uh, the Navajo Nation president, for instance, had posted on his Facebook page uh, talking about uh, respecting this time. What might some of the tribes do uh, to respect uh, this time of day when the eclipse does happen? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I can only speak for myself as a as a Diné and Dakota wom woman. You know, um, for us, we are um, in our uh, Diné culture. We're instructed to remain quiet um, in prayer. You know, we don't eat, we don't drink, um, we don't sleep, we don't watch TV. And the belief is that during this time, you know, the sun is dying, and then it's reborn through an intimate process between the sun and the moon. So it's really about respecting the cycle of life and the sun and, and its journey. Um, I know for our Atam relatives in, in the area, the eclipse is also um, considered a sacred time and can also bring, you know, um, messages or like a forewarning. Um, and they they also believe it to be a death of the sun. So the people often will stay inside their homes fast uh, and wait for it to pass. Yeah, so definitely a lot of... Uh thoughts and also cultural significance to to an event of this magnitude if people have questions about this where can they go yeah i think there's a lot of really great resources out there you know we uh, post a lot on uh, our phoenix indian page social media um, the national museum of american indian has tons of resources um, locally i would uh, reach out to like Diné college or um you know, maybe Tona Atom College, if you're looking for information about the tribes around this area. Um, so there's, there's lots of information out there about, about um, how we are observing the sacred time. All right, Alicia, good soldier with the Phoenix Indian Center. Thank you so much for being on our air this morning. Thank you, Colton. All right, see you later.